Hans Eysenck was born on March 14, 1916, in Berlin. At the age of 18, Eysenck was forced to flee Nazi Germany after his maternal grandmother was killed in a concentration camp. He settled in England and eventually received his Ph.D. in psychology from University College London. He spent the rest of his life in England, working as a professor at King's College London for almost 30 years where he did the majority of his work and research. Eysenck's career focused mainly on how biological and genetic factors influence personality. In his first study on the genetics of personality, he tested both fraternal and identical twins for neuroticism, where he concluded that neurotic predisposition is to a large extent hereditarily determined. Eysenck was staunchly against psychotherapy and in 1952 published a study that compared neurotic patients receiving psychotherapy and those who had received no treatment at all, where he found that there was no significant difference in recovery rates in those receiving therapy compared to those who received no treatment at all. I think originally described two dimensions of personality, extroversion versus introversion, and neuroticism versus stability, creating a two-dimensional space to describe individual differences in personality. Later, he added a third dimension, psychoticism, to his model of personality. The Big Five model, the most commonly used personality model, has extroversion and neuroticism as two of its five major traits, and two of its other traits, agreeableness and conscientiousness, correspond to what I think viewed as psychoticism. But by far his most popular and controversial work was on the role of genetics on IQ differences. I think say that there is an overwhelming importance of genetic factors in producing the great variety of intellectual differences which we observe in our culture and much of the difference observed between certain racial groups. His views on the issue have been heavily criticized, with some saying that there is something in his works to insult everyone except Jews and white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Some of his later work was funded by the Pioneer Fund, which has been labeled as a hate group and a white supremacist foundation that promotes scientific racism. Despite his controversial views and questionable associations, his model on human personality had a great influence on how we view personality today, and he was one of the first psychologists to place an emphasis on and examine the role of genetics on personality.